folks, I'm back with another one. I hope you're well, I hope you and your family are doing okay. Um, in this video, I'm going to talk about my view as an ex or recovering gambling addict um, on casino streamers and gambling advertising. So, my view on casino streamers to start with is, well, a question is, should they be banned? Should they be banned off YouTube? And as a, as I said, recovering gambling addict, my view is no, they shouldn't be banned off YouTube because if you look at it, just because I'm struggling with gambling addiction or I struggle, it doesn't mean to say that other people should stop their fun or their entertainment. Um, for people who like gambling, they'll enjoy watching it. Um, just because people, you know, some people struggle. Um, so in that sense, I don't believe they should be stopped off YouTube. Um, do I believe that they should stop advertising their affiliation links? Um, I believe that they should be limited in some way to how much they can promote their affiliation links. Um, I've seen streamers and video content makers ram links down people's throat throughout the stream and throughout their videos and in the comments and in the descriptions and that's where I do believe there should be a line drawn. Um, I believe they should be limited as to how many times they can make a, a you know a, a plug for their links if you like and the reason I said that is because yes people who like gambling watch these videos but people who also um, are struggling with gambling watch these videos even people in recovery um, and it helps some people because you're watching some, someone gamble with their money and not your own. Um, do they really need someone sat there saying you can get 300% match bonus, 200% match, whatever promotion rammed down their throats very, very often during the video or the stream? I don't believe they do. So. Although not everyone's got a problem, I believe out of respect for those people who will still be watching because they enjoy it without the need to gamble themselves or they can't gamble because they've got barriers in place because they've had a problem. Um, I, I believe out of respect they should limit how much they do um, plug their affiliation links and perhaps mention it once or twice but send people to their website and, and sort the links out that way and the, the forward traffic that way. Um, but again, not too much. Um, where I also draw the line with casino streamers is when you are trying to help people in the chat, and this has happened to me, because I'm in a place where I, I feel I, each to their own, you know, it, what works for me doesn't work for everyone. I feel I'm okay in terms of going into a casino streamer's stream and in the chat you'll fairly regularly men see someone mention that they're struggling with gambling or they've had a loss, big loss. And I tend to put comments to help them, uh, offering them help or if they want to contact me, tell them how. Um, I don't claim to be an expert, just so I can give what worked for me advice. Um, and, and, and with that, I believe that when I've put comments in, I've seen them get deleted. That is horrendous. I mean, that is horrendous. One has been on um, Rock and Roller stream, and I'm sure Paul's not aware of that, but really why would you delete someone's comment who is trying to help someone who is struggling? I believe there's a space for people um, who feel as though they can benefit others to go in them chats, 
if they feel okay with being in a casino stream, you know, stream. Um, not everyone will. Not everyone will feel strong enough, and that's fine as well. I wouldn't even recommend it. Um, but I, I, I've been in them where I've helped others, you know, commented or or whispered them on Twitch or whatever. And the thing is, we're there, or I was, I'm there on this particular evening where it happened a couple of weeks ago to help someone who was struggling. They were suicidal. They was on about, um, they had big losses and things. And I just put a nice comment in just to try and help them and guide them into some help. And it got deleted by the mods. And I'm thinking, come on, I'm just trying to help. Just because you haven't got a problem, clearly they have. So I believe there's a space for people like that. And what I'd say is, I know it's a bit wide of probably most people's thoughts, but I believe casino streamers, particularly the bigger ones, will get the massive views. Um, perhaps once a month or once every couple of months, should do an interview with a recovering gambling addict. Um, doesn't have to be me, you know. There's plenty of us out there, fortunately, who are spreading the awareness, putting videos out on YouTube. Um, and do an interview with them and, and let them speak about the dangers of gambling and, you know, talk about it. So it's not just, here you go, here's my links, come and sign up, let's have a bet, this, that and other. But I do understand it's a business, so yes, promote your affiliation, but just have some respect for people who may be struggling. It doesn't need to be constant. Um, and clickbaity titles. Again, I understand that you're trying to make money off the YouTube ad revenue. Does it really need? Does it really make a massive dis difference to your um, income when it's? It, let's be fair. You're making quite a bit of affiliation by throwing it down people's throats. So yeah, I I just think that they need to be a little bit more responsible. But I do think there's. A place for them but for people who don't struggle with gambling um what i don't like and nobody likes i don't believe is fake streamers you know i think we know who the major ones are at the moment out there um people who just play at casino with deals in place where they will play with money that casinos put on and promote the casino using the casino's money um, react to big wins like it's their own but in reality they're playing with play money and it's just enticing people in um, thinking that you can win big by spinning 50 pound spins 50 dollar spins and I think there's so much of it out there now it's it's really becoming a problem particularly on Twitch um, and you know it, it's just wrong it really is wrong even for people who haven't got a problem, these people are wrong. Um, and that should be eradicated. And for YouTube, I think they should do background checks. For Twitch, I think they should. I really do believe something needs to be done about that um, to make sure everything's legit. And if it's intrusive to the casino, you know, um, or the casino streamer, they're asking for bank statements and things, so what? If you've nothing to hide, you will happily provide them to be able to carry on with your streaming and 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 pushing your affiliation, but I don't I don't have any you know real nastiness towards these casino streamers. They're there with a business. It's their chosen business. All I'm asking is that from a gambling addict's point of view, they just be a little bit more responsible in how they push their affiliation links. Maybe do an interview once a month, once every couple of months with um, a gambling addict. And if nothing else, people who watch that will, will, I, in my opinion, benefit from it. Because they're, even if they've not got a problem, they, they've seen the dangers of what could happen. And for people who have got a problem, they've seen, right, there's help out there. They've seen that they're not alone. So... That's the casino bit. On gambling advertising altogether, I think when I look down my messenger on Facebook, um, for example, 
Um, three or four messages down, I see Labrook's offering me a, a deposit match bonus or whatever. Play with £50, uh, but deposit £10. Um, even though I'm on uh, self-exclusion from bookmakers and things, I believe that needs to be stopped because it's not the advertising where you you you, you know you you click a a YouTube video and yeah you're gonna expect some level of advertising, but on Messenger, which people are using all the time, millions to start sticking it into where your messages appear, that's wrong. That's totally wrong. Um, people access that all the time, and to see them links in there, I know you can hide them, but they still come back up. And different casinos, different betting um, websites, or whatever, and it's wrong. And I think what we need to look at, not just from gambling addicts point of view, but addiction in general, is at the moment there's this lockdown going off, there's this COVID situation going off, and even if you're not locked down, it's a difficult time for people, not being able to see the friends and family in the same way that they used to, the support networks that they used to, and to put, be putting adverts on television in the daytime, targeting women, in particular, with bingo websites and things like that, saying, um, make new friends, uh, join our live chats, things like that. It's playing on people. It's playing on people's mental health. It really is playing on people's uh, vulnerability, if you like, with what lockdowns, you know, COVID's impacting on them. Um, and... It's almost like saying, well, you've lost your real family in terms of you can't see them like you used to, but join our family. When our family could potentially lead you to to be taken from your family. I know that sounds confusing, but um, that's the, the depths that, that gambling addiction can take you in. I think when they, they introduced the, the ban on advertising for gambling, um, when the, the, the bookmakers and the casinos offered to do that that was great full respect for that but why did it stop have we suddenly gone back to normal life now no so why have those adverts been allowed to come back on advertise whenever and i know they have certain restrictions in place but pretty much whether it's on phone whether it's on the internet in general whether it's on television radio they're advertising pretty much whenever and it's wrong it really is so I really do believe restrictions should be put in place particularly while we're in lockdown particularly while Covid's bad and please if you are struggling out there don't and it's not as easy as this but don't feel that casinos and live chats in casino forums can become your support network because believe me it's a downward spiral and it can really creep up on you but i wish you all the best and hopefully we get out of this this covid situation and and hopefully things will get back to normal and, but they are my thoughts on advertising and casino streamers that you know everyone's got their own opinion that's mine you know, people might say you shouldn't go in casino streamers charts, it's dangerous for you. I accept that and maybe I shouldn't, maybe I should. I'm there to help other people. As well as the fact that when I was gambling and I was watching Paul and Rock and Roller and things, Rock and Roll is a, a, a good, um, responsible streamer if you ask me. He doesn't throw links down your neck. It, it doesn't promote even the casino that he's playing at half the time when he's um, it, it's not, it, it closes it off so you can't see and things and he's done videos on gambling addiction help. and people like Paul Rock and Roller they're the ones who I think should have the platform should have YouTube out there um, you know I, like I said I don't want to get into names and things but Chipmunk uh, Chipmunk's channel, 
I'm sure he's a nice bloke, but the clickbait titles, it's designed to get people in. He'll pass it off as getting money off the advertising um, on the, the views, but it's designed to get people in. And once they're in, click my links, click my links. I know he says it, the things that he needs to be, make sure you get re, gamble responsible, guys, but then puts a clickbaity title out when there really doesn't need to be. I, do, I think there's a balance, like I've said. Um, but yeah, there really does need to be a balance. And if any streamers want to contact me, um, feel free. Links in description to my Twitter and my email. Um, whether it's about coming in the chat, whether it's about doing an interview, or whether it's just about my views and my thoughts on things, you know, I'm happy to answer any questions. Um, but yeah, I'll catch you on the next one. If you can help this video get in front of people who may be able to relate with their views and I don't know, maybe it just helps them in some way. Leave a like, comment, subscribe uh, and I'll catch you on the next one. Stay safe folks.